welcome back to the pen and ink well so I've got well two pens to look at but they're the same pen essentially I'm going to be looking at the another Twisby pen that I really I know I featured a couple of Twisby pens I've done the Eco and I've done the back mini but I wanted to feature um, the 580 AL I thought I'd done it I'm really surprised to find that I haven't actually done this I just figured I'd already done it um, I've had the purple in my collection for a little while um, in fact my daughter now uses that one but the green came out and I really fancied the green so I've um, very kindly been sent a green one by Pure Pens, Ross at Pure Pens to have a look at and I'm going to give you both of them to look at so you can see the colours, they're identical pens, they've got different nibs on them these two actually so that might be of help but they are identical pens and there are four, five colours available now um, in this series from the, the silver, so the, the plain aluminium, to um, they then brought out an orange. If you can find an orange now, then good luck to you. Um, it's a beautiful colour, wish I'd got it at the time. Orange, then they brought out the purple, they recently brought out a pale blue, and now the green. So there's five different colours of, of those available. As I said, exactly the same style pen, just with different colour accents on them, essentially. And what these pens are, are a modification on the standard 580. So when Twisby first came out, there was the 530, and then there was the 540, and then the 580 came about. And, and they just perfected things more and more as it went along. And the 580 is, is, sort of, is made full of, of plastic materials, where this 580 AL has got aluminium features in there which I'll show you now, and it's no point me trying to look at it this way, but I'll show you it in more detail when I turn the camera around in just a sec. So welcome Thanks. back. So we're going to have a look, at, as I said, at the 580 AL. And I've got two here. I've got one out of its box, the purple one, that I've had for a little while longer. And then I'm just going to put that aside because I want to show you how this arrives. So we've seen these boxes before. It's the same box that um, the VAC Mini came in. Um, it's a different box to the Eco, but it is you know, the same that the normal 580 would come in and things like that. So, typical cardboard Twisby box. The Twisby logo at the top, then it identifies the pen. So you can see here, this is the 580 AL Diamond Pistol Filler. So that opens up like that. So we've got this foam inside here and then we've got the instruction booklet which will tell you how to fill it, how to clean it, how to pretty much take it apart essentially because for those of you that don't know by now the Twisby pens come with mechanisms that allow you to take these pens apart. So full instructions on how to do that and then some warnings about not cleaning out the grease because of the aluminium mechanism that's on there. So we'll take this out of there. So we've got some more instructions, further instructions just on the bottom here and the identity of the pen. So after you get it out of this cardboard box we've got now this really pretty clear plastic box that it comes in which I think is really attractive again. So it's almost a bit coffin like actually. So it's got this the Twisby logo down here and then the pen you can see there. It's already inked because I have been using it. I've just put it back in its box so that I can show you. So we open it up from one side and take these little clasps out. I'll put that away. So this is the Twisby 580 AL. So this is the green. And as I said, this is the purple, the lilac. Both equally beautiful, both really pretty, attractive colours. As you see, the difference on these, as you can see now, is these aluminium features here that operate the piston mechanism and that there is on the grip section here, which I'll show you now. But just before I uncap this, I'll give you some details. So this is a, it's a fairly, you know, it's a decent sized pen. This is 36 grams in weight both identical so they're 36 grams in weight and they are 22 grams without the cap on weight wise and that is with the ink in it I've just weighed those now um, measurements wise they're 142 millimeters as you see them now they are 130 millimeters without the cap on and 
posted at 179 millimeters, but I'll show you in a second. I would not post these pens. It doesn't work. Um, I, they haven't been created to be posted. So yeah, I wouldn't bother. So we'll have a look in sort of closer detail. We'll have a look at them side by side in case you sort of fancy one color more than the other. So let's have a look. So we've got the Twisby name around the band here. We've got the Twisby logo, at the red logo at the cap. Really good clips, strong clips. And then the color goes through to the piston mechanism. So these are piston mechanisms through here that draw the ink directly as it's. You couldn't use cartridges for this, it has to be used with ink bottles. I do apologize, I've got ink over my hands and that isn't from these. This is actually from a biro that I picked up in work earlier on today. So if we take the lid off, you see here that this area is smoked. It's a dark color, so where the nib goes, whether it's because of um, expecting ink spillage. But you can see here, that's probably one of the only drawbacks I would sort of say really is around the band here where this extra piece is, where the nib goes, it does seem to gather up some ink and a bit of staining from there. I think you could take it apart and it would wash out, but um, and when I do clean it, it does come, you know, come out a little bit, but it is a little annoying there. And this one's done exactly the same, look. It is there. A few little spots in there, but we've literally just freshly inked these, so they're probably a little, a bit, a little bit of overspill. So if we have a look, here's the Twisby nib. So this is a fine nib. Got the Twisby logo on there and a really nice design. Lovely size nibs, really love these nibs. And then we've got the green aluminium part here. Nice grip section, long enough, you know, I think to use well. And it fits really nicely. Let me show you what I mean about it posted. You can do it, but it becomes so, so heavy. I wouldn't. So if you want to see the extra fine, yeah, there's the extra fine nib. And by comparison, there's the difference. Can you notice the ink on this green one? I've got one of the Diamine Shimmer inks in this. You can see the shimmer on the back of the nib. Right, so there's essentially the 580, as you can see. I'm going to do a quick writing sample now for you to see how they write. I don't know why I just capped them. Let's get a bit closer for you to have a look at. So this is the Twisby 580, and this is the AL, and this is the green. This is a fine nib and the ink is Diamine Shimmer and this is Magical Forest. So this is the fine nib. It is wonderfully smooth. I love these nibs. They're steel nibs, but they're brilliant. I'm really, really pleased. Price-wise on these pens, they retail over here at $49.99, okay. um, which I think is really reasonable for a piston fill pen, really. And again, so this is, again, the Twisby 580 AL. This is the Lilac. And this is an extra fine you really can see the difference between that extra fine line and the fine line. And this ink is Waterman Inspired Blue. This one is not as smooth as the other one. It is smooth, there's no catching or anything like that, but it doesn't glide as much over. There's a lot more feedback on it, and that's just because it's because of the line of of that nib really. It's because it's an extra fine instead. So those are the two Twisby 580 ALs. As I said, it also comes in orange. Not that you can you know you're very unlikely to find that new. You they do every now and then go up for sale but they're they're not cheap then to pick up. 
Um, there is one without the colour here, so it's just silver at the ends. And as I say, there's a blue to go with that as well. If you've got any questions, then please drop me a line. Um, any comments, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye.